Amasin has a great new product this year. The StatCast has been so much fun to watch the pop times and the quick releases by the Orioles catchers. They've been doing a great job this year, haven't they, Rick? Boy, they really have. They're getting rid of the ball very quickly. They're making much better throws to second base. We're really cutting down the amount of the steals that are at second base. So uh, whatever they're doing, and it is appropriately named because when they call it pop time, the clock starts ticking the minute you hear that ball hit the glove, and they got to go from there. Now let's take a look at some of the StatCast replays right now. Runner goes, throws good, and that records the out. 2 2 delivery, runner goes this time, swing and a miss, throw down right there, and he's out. And there's that quick release, and no one hop on that one. Gardner, runner goes, throw, one hopper, and they got him. Strike him out, throw him out, double play. Well, Rick, we're talking about pop times and quick release today. Uh, what do you see from the Orioles catchers, and, and how do they actually go about their business behind the plate? Well, they've really been getting rid of the ball very quickly, and that's a reason why they've cut down a lot of the running games so far this season. But there's a lot that goes into it ahead of time that maybe the average fan won't see because it happens in the blink of an eye. Let me show you been behind home plate. It has a lot to do with how you position your feet, the left foot a little bit in front of the right foot. But as soon as this ball hits your glove, it's got your hand here, the throwing arm, has to be right behind your mitt to get that quick release of the ball into this hand. But the feet have to work along with it too because it's a long throw. It's the longest throw in the infield you're gonna make from home plate to second base. So if they're already turning their body at the same time the ball is in a way, this foot goes to this position right here sideways, then the hips and the shoulders can line up with your target. You heard Mike Borg talk about how important it was to keep that front shoulder in. It's the same thing as behind home plate. Once this foot turns, the hips and the shoulders lined up, the ball already exchanges into the throwing hand, and the quicker you can get your feet in that position, you can let the ball go. And this is one thing, you can cheat a little bit if there's a really fast runner out there and he gets a good jump, you can start as a catcher to move your feet before the ball gets to you in this position right here. So as soon as you catch it, you're ready to make that one step and that release to second base. And this is what the Oriole catchers have been so good at so far this year. Yeah, they sure have. I'll tell you what, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch StatCast and some of the demonstrations you just showed. See Castillo, uh, Joseph, Caleb Joseph, all the other Oriole catchers put this good stuff to work. Well, it's really going to work well.